his expectations are high. They're high at this point of every season. Um, I got a little bit of a feeling the way things are going in, in pre-season practices, they were going to be pretty good and pretty deep. Um, but obviously it's, it's dangerous to have expectations that are that high because we have to have the work ethic that's going to match that. And certainly our non-conference schedule, but even more so when we get to the Big East conference games, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be a battle. Um, it's just great to have the amount of talent we have at this point. I felt that we needed to be able to have a good enough non-conference schedule um, and so therefore RPI going into the Big East play that, that would allow us to make the NCAA tournament. For one reason or another, a lot of those bigger ACC teams don't want to come here to play and so the only option was to take the show on the road and, and see if we can beat them on their home fields. So for example, we're going to Syracuse, we're going to Boston College and that really, I mean, for me it was a question of having confidence in our team and knowing that we have to get tested in that non-conference to be able to then um, one, play the quality of opponents and two, kind of be road tested enough so when it comes to Big East games we can find a way. It's interesting in that the kind of same old rivalries that we have are still very tough games for us. So I mean, the last, the last couple of years the top four has been um, DePaul, Georgetown, Marquette and ourselves and each one of those games is, it, it could go either way. Um, and then you've got a bunch of new teams or emerging teams at like Providence are getting better and better. Butler always have great players. Villanova got great recruits. So to me, it's, it's when you get into conference play, it's still really, really difficult. In my opinion, it's probably the best um, central defender in the country when it comes to organizing a back four. Uh, her communication skills are phenomenal. Her leadership style is not only is she leading by example in the way that she plays, but she's just a, a, a natural captain, a natural leader. I think her leadership has improved. She's the type of person who's gonna, who wants to get better. So not only does she have great ability, but she has a great kind of um, self-motivation and wants to go on to be a professional goalkeeper. And so as a result, she's gonna do anything that she needs to, to, to make that happen. Obviously the danger now, certainly the way I, I looked at it was, yeah, it's fantastic to get those accomplishments on paper, uh, in reality, it's a team game where it's not going to be three players. And as I said to you before, there's no way I'm underestimating the pool in Georgetown and Marquette and anybody in the Big East. But certainly, as a coaching staff, we have to make sure that everybody's working hard every day in practice. There can be no room for any kind of complacency or, or casual play at any time. And we have to prove it.